it's Meg, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you my new Delphonics pouch and the journal supplies that I'm going to put in it and how I'm going to organize my Delphonics pouch. So this is the small size um, in a pink and I do already have the medium size um, and I just thought I would bring it here just for reference if you can see. Um, it is quite a bit smaller um, and I think this will be a lot more kind of portable um, for taking with me um, wherever I go. I was really excited when I saw that um, Miso Paper were carrying Delphonics pouches um, and so I decided to snag one of the pink ones because I just love this shade. And I've just realised this was totally unintentional that I am matching almost with my uh, pouch or coordinating rather um, with my pink jumper and kind of pinkish purplish nails. So what I thought I would do is just quickly show you um, if you're not familiar with Delphonics pouches. The thing I like about these are the number of kind of different um, compartments and pockets. So we have um, three pockets here at the front in like varying sizes. And then another one here so you've got four at the front and then another three at the back so there's kind of like a smaller one here one here and then another one here that just has some velcro on it so let me just take the tag off and obviously i'm going to be keeping the little tags to uh, add to my journal just with like the logo and things so we'll set them off to one side keep them safe um and so then there's a zip here and inside there's um, some foam here because I haven't um, used it yet. So I'll just toss that to the side. Um, and then inside there's quite a nice spacious kind of main pocket here. And then what you also have is a pocket at the side here that goes down one side with um, some Velcro. And then two other pockets here um, on the kind of lining. Um, and it's a nice pink lining as well so what i thought i would do is i've kind of gathered some bits and pieces here and i thought i would have this as kind of my like little go-to like ephemera pouch so obviously this size it's not going to have like all of my supplies in um i don't really want to like pack it full of stuff but i just want to have kind of like essential things and almost things that i want to use in my journal i kind of want to have a little space where i can just have this pouch grab this, grab my journal, and I'd be able to do some journaling with it. So first things first, I wanted to just put some of my favourite pens into the pouch. So I have a brown uh, uni pin fine liner in 0.5. And then I also have a Uniball Signo, the kind of white gel pen. Um, and that's like my go-to white pen. Then I have one of these um, like Tombow brush pens and I love the, if you can see, I don't know if it will focus, I love the kind of nib that this pen has and the way it writes. And then I have a couple of my um, Zebra Sarasas. I think it's like the, the vintage collection I wanna say or range, um, but I just love these tones of pens they're kind of a gel ink in a 0.5 as well so I think what I'm going to do with these because I do see some people put pens like um at the front and I think I have done that previously in my medium Delphonics but I kind of don't want things um knocking around at the front especially like with this pen the clip isn't long enough so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the pouch at the back here just to pop them in there and then I can just uh, clip them in and then they won't get in the way kind of in the middle of the pouch here so that's where I'm going to keep my pens just off to the back there then the next thing I thought I would do is I really wanted to add some washi tape and obviously if I just grab like these were the rolls that I picked out of kind of like uh, some of my favorites at the minute it would kind of fill up a lot of the pouch and I don't need like all the rolls of the washi tape so what i thought i might do is pop them onto some tags and then maybe slide them into the front of the pouch here um just so i've got kind of like a sample card almost a bit like this one here that i got in a happy mail um so then i can just pop it then straight into the front so i think that's what i'm going to do with these there we go so there are my kind of washi sample tags and i'm just going to pop those into the front pouch 
here. I think the next thing as well, I've also got some little bags of um, like stamps and um, smaller things. I think there might be a few, um, yeah, little like tickets and things. I'm going to pop those maybe inside in this smaller pouch here just to keep them um, from going everywhere. Then I also have my ink pad. So I might pop that maybe just in the back here because it's a little bit bulkier. Um, and I don't kind of want it to get in the way of anything else. Then I have some like um, little sample bits and pieces and I think a nice place for those might just be in this kind of back bit because I don't want these to kind of get get lost in amongst um, the papers that I'm going to put in here in a second. So I think maybe if I keep those tucked in there that should keep them um, in one nice little spot. Let's see what else have I got. I kind of put everything out that I wanted to put in and then I'm thinking about where I want to put it. So here I have like a collection of different um, labels and things, little journaling spots, um, stickers, cards, little note cards, things like that. So I think I might pop these maybe in the front pouch so that they don't kind of get, I'm kind of wanting to put like my bigger stuff in this um, space here so I'm going to pop these ones um, maybe just in here like so. So these are kind of like the the bigger bits and pieces um, so kind of like different papers, um, a few like sticker sheets and rub-ons um, and then I've also got um, a bunch of different papers. Goodness I think it would have been about a month ago now but I, um, I ordered some bits and pieces from um, Miss Paper Lover. It's all come in this like really organized little bags and things. So I've kind of kept those and I've organized um, some bits in it, but also um, these are kind of some of the things that came in her kits that she does. Um, so there's all sorts of bits in here, um, but I thought I would put them in the pouch because then I will kind of, it will encourage me to like kind of use some of this stuff more. So I wanted to um, pop that in there. There's even these like dried flowers that I think will look really, really gorgeous on um, one of my journal pages. So I'm just going to pop this in here. And I think it's worth mentioning as well, just with the kind of more uh, junk, junk journaly stuff. Um, this isn't really where I'm going to organize that. So I will show you now. Um, I don't even know if it'll fit in frame, but I have this like random paper bag and it's just collecting like all my tissue paper and things so this is kind of where more of the larger papers and junk stuff tends to go sort of places like this or i've got like um a basket here that's got like a bunch of different stuff so um that's kind of where those bits are going and then i've also got i think this was also from um the kit um this was just sort of different stickers and little vellum pieces and things like that um, so I've just decided to keep that in the little uh, envelope that it came in and just put it in here just so that it like reminds me to use it because um, otherwise I'll forget that I have these things. This is just um, another envelope with kind of various bits and pieces in it. I've even got some of my like brown um, packaging paper in here because I just love to use that on um, a lot of my pages so I've just decided to add that in there and then um, pop this within here too. Then also just a collection of some like book papers in different um, sort of tones and shapes and sizes just so that I've got them to pick from if I'm doing a spread. So I also have kind of smaller bits and pieces as well so I think maybe I will pop these kind of towards um, the back because I think they're still big enough that they won't kind of get lost amongst things. Then I have some stickers so these are some um, MU rub-ons in like a beautiful uh, kind of gold foil. Um, some stickers from Brandy Kincaid and then um, a little rainbow moon sticker sheet. But yeah I've just kind of picked out like a few uh, sticker sheets. I don't kind of want to put all my sticker sheets uh, in here. Um, so I've just kind of picked out a few that I'm thinking like, yeah, I'd like to use these. So hopefully by having them in this pouch, it will kind of encourage me to use them. So I'm just going to pop them in the front pouch here. And then the essentials. So 
scissors and um, a glue stick. So I thought I could just pop my scissors maybe in the front of the pouch here. And then I think my glue stick might fit. Yep, just in the back there. And then that's pretty full, to be honest. Um, I did think about putting maybe some like little paper clips or things just on the um, front here. And this one is kind of made for a pen, I think, because you can kind of fit it quite nicely. But um, the clip on this one, it doesn't go far enough down that it'll kind of stay on the, the pouch. So I kind of don't really want to put it in there. And it's a little bit tall as well, because I think if I put this, for example, on the uh, medium, yeah, it's a lot different. It kind of, it fits on the clip and um, it doesn't go over the top, but just because this is a smaller pouch, um, that's kind of what you get. So I could kind of put that in there, but I don't really like that it's sticking out. Um, so yeah, I might just leave that for now. Um, maybe I'll find a pen that is small enough. I don't even know if this would be small enough. Not really. And then one of the last things I wanted to do is I have a couple of pin badges and I've had these a while and I really can't remember um, where I got them from, but I just thought that they would be nice to perhaps add to the pouch. Um, let's see, I'm not sure where I might put that. Maybe I'll just use the the little rabbit instead. I'll pop that one maybe there. And then I'll just have to move these tags a second just so I can get in here. And then I also have this um, Instagram pin badge that um, I got back when I was doing kind of like the ambassador thing. And I just think it's cool. So I think I'm going to add this too. Where's that gone? And then the last thing I'm going to just add into this um, Delphonics pouch is my current junk journal. Um, this one's fairly new um, and I know you guys might not have seen it. I did post about it on Instagram, but I'm, I know I haven't posted um, it on YouTube. So I will be doing some um, junk journal with me's um, and showing you kind of more in depth in this but um i'll give you a quick little kind of sneak peek um that's kind of the only thing that i've done in it really um i haven't done much but i just kind of bound it with um a bunch of different papers um like brown papers and i've got like a it's like a waxed bag almost i think this was um like a junk mail envelope there so yeah lots of different kind of sizes of papers and textures um and I'm really excited to, to work in this one. Um, this is a card I must have put in there. Um, lots of different things. I even kind of made like pages using um, different sizes of, of papers, different, um, all sorts of different things. So I'm really excited to, to kind of work in this little journal um, and kind of get back into creating um, some more content for you guys here on YouTube. So I hope you enjoyed seeing this kind of Delphonics pouch setup. Um, I'm just going to pop this in the front there. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my Delphonics pouch um, and maybe I'll do kind of an update to show you guys like how I'm using it, how I'm getting on with it. But um, for now, this is kind of the, the setup that I've got. Um, and I'm really chuffed with it and I absolutely love the um, the colour of it. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.